Bear a name. And now we take you live to KTEX. I was just browsing, please. Carry on with whatever you do. Is that the right time? Here? Yeah? I don't know what's the matter with this thing. Excuse me for a moment. Speaking to you from Love Field, where the President's plane has just touched down and is taxiing toward us across the park. Dearest Marina, today I end my life so that your life can begin. Last... I'm sorry, is that your note? Fuck you. We seem to have gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm sorry, it's my fault. I shouldn't have just barged in here. You're not going, are you? Please, come back. Alec! What did you call me? Alec. You used to like that nickname back in Minsk. Marina said that Lee sounded Chinese, so she used to call you Alec. Of course, I don't have to call you Alec. How do you know what Marina called me? Well, I know lots about you, Lee. Let's see. Born New Orleans, October 18, 1939. Father Robert died before your birth. Crazy Mother Marguerite. You dropped out of school at 17 and joined the Marines. Court martialed twice. Defected to the Soviet Union in October 1959. Defected back June 1962. Married Marina Nikolaevna. Two children, June and Rachel. Current employment? Stock boy. Texas School Book Depository, Dallas, Texas. Oh, and this morning. Depressed over your estrangement from a wife who views you as a dismal and pathetic failure. You rose before dawn. You kissed your sleeping children, put your last hundred dollars and your wedding ring in a demi cup, which Marina's mother gave you for a wedding present. And you came here to kill yourself. Who are you? I'm your friend, Lee. I don't have any friends. Yes, you do. You just haven't met them yet. Show me a badge. Oh, what? You bastards think you're so smart. I know my rights. You're trying to interrogate me in my place of work. I could sue you for harassment. Oh, you I... think I'm with the FBI? I have a right to see a badge. Search me, Lee. You think I got a badge? Come on, search me. <laughs> the FBI. You really love those morons, don't you? Hell, why wouldn't you? No one else cares if you live or die. And those guys can't get enough of you. How was your day, Lee? Sell any secrets to the Soviets? Sabotage any defense plans? Kick off your shoes, Lee, and tell us all about it. Fuck you, whoever you are. I'm sorry, Lee. It's just so sad. I mean, it's all you ever wanted, isn't it? Someone who won't leave you alone. Someone who wants to hear about your day. Someone. Anyone. Your mother. Mother Russia. The Marines. Your wife, Marina. Attention must be paid. What's that mean? It's from a play about a salesman. A man very much like you, Lee. Independent, proud, a decent man who tries and tries but never gets a break. So he does something dumb. When things go really sour, when he finally realizes that his whole life has been a failure built on lies, he kills himself. And when he's dead, his wife stands at his grave and says, attention must be paid. She has to beg the world to pay attention to this poor, misguided nobody. I'll tell you something, Lee. I'm an actor, and I'm a good one. But Willie Loman is a part that I could never play, and I don't think that you should play it either. I don't know what you're talking about. What do you want, Lee? You know so much, why don't you tell me? You want what everybody wants. To be appreciated. To be valued. To be in other people's thoughts. For people to think of you and smile. You want someone to love you, Lee. Right? Isn't that it? Lee? Yes, forget it. What? It's never gonna happen. It's a fantasy. You gotta give it up. I'm gonna kill myself. Don't you think I've given it up? No, I think you're gonna kill yourself because you think that's how to get it. When I'm dead, then they'll be sorry. When I'm dead, then they'll know how much they love me. I bet when you close your eyes, you see the funeral, don't you, Lee? 
the gentle rain is falling. Everybody has umbrellas. Shut up. There's Marina weeping quietly. Your sobbing children clutching at her skirt. Your mom, your dad, every boss that ever fired. Shut the fuck up! I'm sorry, Lee. It's just so childish. It's so dumb. You think it's dumb? If I shouldn't kill myself, then what should I do? Go home? They're gonna take me back? Play with her? Feed her up? You tried all that. It doesn't work. I know it doesn't work. So you tell me what I should do. You should kill the President of the United States. What? His plane landed at the airport 15 minutes ago. He's coming into town to make a speech. His motorcade is going to go right past this window, and when it does, you shoot him. You're nuts. Yeah, I am, so what? I didn't come here to shoot a President. He didn't come here to get shot? All your life you've been a victim, Lee. A victim of indifference and neglect. Of your mother's contempt and your wife's scorn, Soviet stupidity, American injustice, you finally had enough. So how are you planning to get even by becoming your own victim? I am not a murderer. I never said you were. You just said I should kill a president. See, when you kill a president, it isn't murder. Murder is a, is a tawdry little crime. It's born of, of greed or lust or liquor. Adulterers and shopkeepers get murdered. But when a president gets killed, when Julius Caesar was killed, he was assassinated. And the man who did it? Brutus. Ah, you remember his name. Brutus assassinated Caesar White Lord 2,000 years ago. And here's a high school dropout with a dollar 25 an hour job in Dallas, Texas, who remembers who he was. And they say fame is fleeting. This is stupid. Up here on the sixth floor, what am I supposed to do? Throw school books at him? What's in the package, Lee? What package? The package that you brought to work. What's in it? Curtain rods. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. Marina asked me to take them to the store to replace them. That's a Mandica Kakanum. 6.5 millimeter. Stopping range, 900 yards. The sight's already been adjusted. Who are you? My name is John Wilkes Boothley. John Wilkes boot shot Abraham Lincoln. Attention has been paid. All your life, Lee, you wanted to be part of something. And now, you're finally gonna get your wish. <laughs> <laughs>